Recording in progress. Well, greetings, everyone. It's the Team Age Cat Sticker, and I am here uh, on Zoom waiting to see if anyone will join me for this first ever Team Age Circle. Uh, I'm calling it Soul Circle Thursdays. And so each Thursday, I'm going to have um, a circle for, for a different topic. So each topic goes once a month, but every week, every Thursday, I'll have um, a circle on a different topic. So first Thursdays are alchemy, second Thursdays are herbalism, uh, third Thursday is meditation, and fourth Thursday is crafts, and that'll, that'll be fun too. Um, so I wasn't really expecting a big crowd tonight or really anyone to join because um, I only started advertising this about two days ago and, you know, I don't really have a huge following. So what I thought I would do is just record this and I made a presentation so that I can, I can do it like uh, any of my regular programs where it's more like a webinar style so that you'll be able to watch the recording i'll upload it upload it to youtube and then be able to post it in uh uh the team h tavern and the soul shifters guild but the idea of these circles really is to get people onto this zoom call so that we can talk to each other and regardless of whether you want to be on camera or off camera we can hear each other's voice we can have a discussion um rather than just me talking to I don't know who's watching kind of broadcast so it's more personal and I think because I ha I right now I I do have a smaller uh group that will be better for us for, you know if I had a million followers or even 20,000 followers something like that it would be hard to do um a, a zoom call like that for for a big crowd but this is a very small uh group i know most of the people that watch my shows regularly so let's get together on zoom if you get a chance on thursday evenings and let me know if you're interested in circles i'm gonna uh be doing these circles for a few months to see if it catches on but if my group is really not big enough uh at this point to support circles that's fine i can put that on the back burner and bring it back when our group's bigger so that's the plan i'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll get into what i have to share tonight for the circle let's see i'm trying to start this slideshow now the first thing i want to whoops what am i doing here so uh, our topic today is how to achieve your biggest goal through connecting with nature and the parts that i'm going to go over the introduction the elemental connections and the process to alchemize your goal so i you probably know who i am the team age cat sticker uh i'm the proprietor of the team age and i am the team age um so i'm an herbalist and an intuitive healer i, pr I practice in a lot of different healing modalities um and i just love to get together with people and talk about all things woo woo and mainly focusing on elemental alchemy so in my experience like i said i've, I've studied a lot of modes of healing but they pretty much all come back to the elements of nature they can fit into any of those elements um so let's talk now if this was a circle we would have all introduced ourselves right but since i'm table of one tonight it'll just be me introducing myself um also i think i i used to have a paid zoom subscription but now i canceled that um so i think on the free one i only have 40 minutes so i'm gonna have to try to get through that pretty fast uh because i do have a lot planned tonight to talk about we're going to talk first a little bit about elemental connections. So what do you resonate most with in nature? And I put some examples here. I mean, it could be one of the elements or it could be just any individual part of nature that maybe fits into the elements. 
like trees or crystals. Um, here I have like an oak leaf with an acorn and that really calls to me. And can I work with the oak tree after finding this um, on the ground? Yes, this like makes me feel very connected with the oak tree. I have a turtle shell I found and maybe you have a seashell you found and it brings you some sort of peace or connection uh, with nature. Or maybe you're into birds. Um, and if I have this feather, I keep, you know, to help me connect with birds. I want to work with water this year. Um, so I have this dolphin, this dolphin crystal, and, and that's pretty cool. You know, and I'm also working, uh, also have a bottle of sacred water here. But if you're working with uh, birds or air, maybe you have a bottle of feathers. So whatever, whatever you resonate most in nature with, and maybe it's, it's not something tangible like that. It's maybe it's more of the elemental beings like fairies or mermaids or some of the ultra elementals like unicorns and dragons or even spirit guides. So there's all types of spirit guides. What those are all part of nature and you're a part of nature. So other than yourself, what do you resonate most with in nature on a spiritual level? That's going to be a key to uh, what we're talking about tonight, which is how to leverage nature to achieve a goal and achieve what you most want this year. So you can leverage nature to in different different stages. First, you're incubating your ideas, then you're planting your seeds and fertilizing them. You're growing, growing those ideas into realities. Um, you can use nature to remove obstacles and then, of course, to go into harvest in the fall and release at the end. So these are things, these are parts of the cycle of growth, of life and death of your goals. Um, it's part of basically your project management cycle. It was a different way to talk about project management, but to get to that goal. And you can leverage um, nature in different ways, and we'll we'll get to more of that. So if we were, if you guys were here with me, I would ask you, what do you resonate most with in nature? And what one thing I'd like you to do is is write that down, and you know put it on your altar. What's happening here? I don't want to do that. I just want to go to the next slide. I can't get it to go. Next. All right. So now we're going to talk about how we can use alchemy for goal realization. We, when we talk about alchemy, what the heck are we talking about? Are we talking about chemistry? Are we talking about turning lead into gold? What do, what do I mean by alchemy? Um, do I mean magic? Well, you can call it magic, or you can call it alchemy, you can call it whatever you want, but basically it's transformation. And we're, we're using something in nature to transform something else. Um, and so that can be used in many different ways. So my next question for you is, what is one thing that you want to happen for yourself this year? What is one thing you want to happen? So basically, what is your goal? Now, at the beginning of the year, we tend to set our New Year's resolutions. And for some, this goes well, and for some, this goes very badly. And I don't want you to worry about setting all these New Year's resolutions. If you can just come up with one thing, one goal that you want to happen this year, something that's a, a smart goal, if possible. And smart means, what does that mean? It means it's... Um, it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's, I don't remember what R is, <laughs> and it's time bound. So something, uh, time bound would be like something I'm gonna do this year. Um, 
specific. You want it to be a pretty specific goal. Like I want to take a trip to the Bahamas this year. I want to save money for a new car this year. I want to lose 10 pounds this year. Whatever your goal is, make it pretty specific, but realistic. You know, you don't want to say, um, I want to, I don't know, turn into a toad this year. If there's no way for you to do that. So I mean, there actually is a way to do that, <laughs> but whatever your goal is, write it on the piece of paper and put it on your altar. And so now we have a paper for our, what element of nature or what uh, component of nature that we're attracted to and we want to work with and what uh, goal, what is our goal? And then when you have your goal, think about Th examine deeply more deeply in your heart of why do you want this goal maybe just keep asking yourself why because as you drill down you might find that your real goal is something different maybe it's i want this car because it makes me feel happy why does it make me feel happy because it makes me feel prestigious and why do you want to feel prestigious because i feel like maybe i'm being minimized and why am I being minimized? Uh, you know, and you just keep drilling down to what is the root cause of wanting that goal. And maybe your real goal is something different, something to change about yourself. So just think about that for a little while. Now, also, you want to create some affirmations about achieving your goal and just visualize what it's going to be like when you are driving that car, when you're on your trip in the Bahamas and, you know, smell the sea and hear the seagulls and all that, just visualize it. And then let's talk a little bit about how we're going to leverage nature. So which, which part of nature do you want to work with? Was it, was it the one that resonated most with you or maybe something maybe you really love birds but you don't want to really want to work with birds this year what do you want to work with what part of nature do you want to work with most in 2023 and why what's attracted you to that um so and maybe there's more than one maybe you want to work with water but you also want to work with mermaids or you want to work with ancestors uh and you want to work with uh sun so pick one or two, don't pick too many parts of nature because we want to try to, to make it simple, okay? And there's always time to make things more complicated later because you could work with, you know, a hundred parts of nature, but let's just take one at a time and see how that goes and see how many different ways you can work with the one component of nature. Uh, so the next part is it's going to be really important for you to carve out time to work with that component of nature. Don't just put on your altar and forget about it. You actually have to connect, right? So what does that mean? Go, it means go outside. Go outside to connect with the things of nature. Now you may bring some things inside. Maybe it's bad weather and you bring something inside to help you um, maintain that connection. Uh, of course, if you're working with you know, elemental or something, you don't necessarily have to be outside. But for me, just being outside in nature, that's a big step to working with nature. Um, and then constant, maybe brainstorm about different ways that you can work with that one component. Okay, and I wrote some examples in this box on the side. And now if you were live here with me on the Zoom, I'd ask you, you know, what is your component that, you, that you're choosing and what kind of ways do you think that, you know, name one way that you're planning to work with it. But I want you to make a list of at least 10 ways that you can work with um, that element or not necessarily an element, but that component of nature. And so these are some examples. If I'm working 
with fire. Maybe I'm using it to scry or maybe I'm using water to release negative energy or I'm I'm planting seeds into the earth. And so I'm working with earth in the way that it's helping to incubate those seeds or I'm working with the wind and I'm using that to propel me forward towards my towards the target of my goal or I'm just receiving guidance from nature spirits on what to do next uh, on my action plan. So these are all different things, but I can probably use each component to do all of those things. So you just have to really think about ways to do that and let your mind just brainstorm it, write it all down. Um, and I want you to check in with your element or your component on a regular basis. Like I said, don't just put it on your altar and forget about it. Maybe you don't, maybe you're not drawn to work with it every day, but I would be working at least several days a week or at least once a week um, to be, to keep this going because you need to gain momentum to reach your goal, right? The sooner the better. Do you have to wait till December 31st to reach your goal? No. All right, so what's the next thing in action plan? Oh, and about the December 31st thing, does your goal have to be completed this year? Well, we want a time bound goal. It doesn't, maybe your goal is going to be a little bit more long term than one year, but it needs to have an end and it shouldn't just be open like one day, because that's not a goal, that's a wish. The goal is something we're working towards, and that's why we also need an action plan. So we're going to be working with these elements to get us through to harvest, but we need an action plan to do that. And so what I just like you probably can see the background here. This is um, a, a baseball player sliding into home. Uh, he has the team has a plan. He as a player has a plan to get to each base and make it home. And so that's what you need to do with your goal is to have that plan to come full circle. So how are we gonna do that? You gotta list out the practical steps towards making progress towards your goal. How do you do it? I don't know, Google it. <laughs> okay, get some ideas, ask people who have done it. Uh, what'd you do? What bank did you use? You know, what? forms did you fill out? Who do you know? Try to find out how much time, money, effort, networking skills you need to reach it. And if it starts seeming daunting or unachievable, don't, don't let that hold you back because you can achieve the unachievable. And that's why we're using nature, leveraging nature to help us uh, spring forward into uh, stretch goals, things that Maybe we never imagined we could achieve, but we really can focus on that ending, but then work backwards as to how you're going to get there. And that's really how I was taught uh, in the business world to reach stretch goals is you don't start with the steps on how to get there. You start with imagining the biggest goal possible and make the impossible possible by then working backwards into the action steps that you need to get there. Then you need to actually take action on your plan uh, and implement it. And if you get stuck, if you find a lot of resistance or obstacles, um, try to leverage that nature to clear it. For instance, say you need money to achieve your goal. And where's the money? You know, you're going to work on abundance and receiving abundance and being open to that and clearing blocks to abundance. Um, those are some of the things that the, the components of nature can help you with. If you need networking, you can work with the components of nature to find the right people and to meet the right people. So that is, those are some of the ways that Nate, that I can see nature helping you with those types of tax, tasks in your action plan. 
Um, so I want you to ask yourself, how can your chosen component of nature help you with these tasks? And then finally, but not finally, pretty much all throughout, let's adopt an attitude of gratitude because this helps keep your vibration really high uh, and that helps things to happen for you in your favor. So if you can adopt this attitude of gratitude and just be grateful for every little thing, track every little step that you achieve, celebrate all the wins along the way and uh, write it down so you can at the end say, wow, look at all the things I've accomplished and this is wonderful and you know thank you nature for helping me thank you spirit and uh it will help you to focus more with that element and go deeper because you start having more and more confidence in what you're doing you start to have that more of that hope of that belief that you're going to achieve your goal because hope isn't really a strategy <laughs> we're built our action plan as our strategy and then using leveraging the nature to push us through to the end so you're going to let that propel you forward so in summary this these are the steps so you're going to focus on one goal leverage your nature connection on a regular basis put your plan of action in place and constantly express gratitude so i hope that 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 framework kind of resonates with you and helps you get you on the path to achieving one huge thing for yourself this year um, have confidence that you can do whatever it is you put your mind to and i do have a few announcements uh, so these are events that are upcoming with the team age um, next Thursday's Alchemy Circle topic is protecting your heart. We're going to talk a little bit about um, ways you can protect your heart when you're dealing with your loved ones. And I want you to invite your friends to attend the circle if you feel led. And maybe you'll feel more comfortable if you have someone else joining with you. And it'll be more fun if we have several people on here live. We can learn from each other. It shouldn't just be me talking. It can be us sharing with each other and getting to know each other and about our experiences, just sharing our experiences. So this is a this is a safe place, safe circle. Also, uh, January 8th, that's on this coming Sunday. Uh, I'll be doing a live broadcast at noon, kind of in all the different places, the Soul Shifters Guild, the Team Age Facebook page, um, YouTube, and the Team Age Tavern. And I'll just be talking about the upcoming Minimize to Maximize Reset. Now, that's it's a series of us. It's a seven-week challenge. Uh, and it begins January 15th. So I'll be going into all the details of what that's going to look like on Sunday so that people can know if they want to do it or not. Um, the Minimize to Maximize Seven Week Reset is free and it'll just be broadcast on Sundays, um, you know, what the next step is. So January 12th, that's the second Thursday, next Thursday, we're having uh, the Herbalism Circle and our topic is Immunity Herbs. So we're talking a lot about immunity in January. I'm going to do a blog about immunity herbs as well. Um, and those are, you know, the most recent or the, the nearest events coming up. I have a lot of events planned, you guys. So every time I do one of these circles, I'll have announcements at the end that shows what are the upcoming events. Um, please let me know if there's any particular topics that you want to cover. Now I've like planned all the topics for the whole year <laughs> on my calendar because I wanted to get a, a jump on this and make sure that I have everything planned out so I can stay on track um, to meet my goals, which is to provide a lot of um, really valuable content and events that the, the community is going to enjoy. So the, these are some of the things that I have planned, but if, if you have 
specific things that you'd want to suggest, I'm happy to change it up and, and put in what, what you guys want. I'm always looking for feedback. Thank you so much for watching the replay and I wish you love and blessings. Let me stop my screen share. All right. I wish you love and blessings. Um, and I hope next time you will join me in the uh, live. So maybe you just want a particular topic, like maybe you were only interested in herbalism or maybe you're only interested in meditation. So you could join whichever circle you want. And to join, you just, I'll be publishing the Zoom link every week and you just click on the Zoom link and come on in. I'll be waiting for you. All right. Thank you. Much love. Have a blessed evening.